Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Vault Pro Scooters YouTube channel, and as you can tell from the title, you're watching another custom build off. This custom build off's a little different. We're gonna have all the videos in one video rather than splitting them up and having you guys vote. And for contestants, you guys know the drill. First up, we have Mr. Walter Perez. Nice. Walter, have you had anything planned out? Any ideas? Did you make any grip tape? Anything like that for this build off? I plead the fifth. Okay, uh, Walter's not talking. Anyway, second we have Mr. Sean Cardwell. You guys know. Do you have any ideas? Oh yeah, I already know what I'm doing. Picked all the parts, color scheme, immaculate. I mean. Some people come in here pleading the fifth, but I'm, I'm ready to own up to everything I've done. And I'm sorry that I'm gonna win this build off. Third, we have, you're never gonna guess, uh, tired little Austin Spencer. Austin, do you have any plans for this? Nah, I guess you guys will see, I don't know. Okay, so that's it, guys. Any last words? See you out there. You know what I'm gonna do. No, we don't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Walter's up first, Walter, uh -huh. let's get to this. You ready? Excited. All right, Walter, we made it to the warehouse. You know this place better than anyone. Are you ready to get this going? Of course I am. All right, so clearly you guys all know me. I always do something for this build. I believe they've already seen it, right? They've already like voted and seen it. Yes, but they don't know what yours looks like yet. Oh, shoot. The first things first is grips. Got the Odyssey Brock Rainford grips. These grips are actually pretty good, pretty nice, pretty soft. All right, now forks. <laughs> Gonna use the Ethic Legion fork. You know, I have an idea. Look at this box right here. It's empty. My parts are going in there. I don't know if this headset's in stock or not, so I'm gonna pick the one I originally picked, and then if this one's in stock, I'm gonna use this one instead. What's nope. the difference? This one's the silicone one. So it's like the rubbery, and that's like an actual like hard dust cover. Should I use the rubbery one, or should I use the Well, the I black think they'd look similar, because both of these have like a matte cap. Yeah, I need matte. Right, I guess I took stock off for this one. We'll just stick it with it. Let's go with Clint. Yeah, very picky on colors, and then they have to match. So I wanted this scooter to be, uh, Matte black. It's the only matte black clamp we had. It's pretty nice. Clean, gold bolts. I should probably change the bolts out then, huh? It's all black. If there's bolts to change them to, sure. Here. I don't know what your color scheme is though, to be honest with you, so I couldn't tell you. Black. Okay. <laughs> all black? Yeah, 100%. Besides, okay. Besides the grip tape. Say that, that's this last. Okay, where are you going? I was actually gonna look at bolts for this clamp, see if we could switch them. Oh, okay. We have envy ones. Oh, that'll yeah. work. Will they work? They will work. All right, what's next? Uh, I guess we'll go to Will's. We'll Wheels. grab like the big parts last, I guess. I'm yeah. guessing they're black on black. No, they're pink. No, we don't have pink. Here they are. Bam. Black on black envy wheels. I'm running HIC, if you guys haven't uh, noticed. So I got to get an HIC kit. You might need that one though, because the this lucky one, one is it's, too long. Exactly. That's why I was going to have to cut this, because I don't think we have this in stock. I'm just going to bring them both. This one is already off stock, but this one, I'm not too sure. All righty. So we got ev almost everything done. Hey, James, can you guess what color bars I'm using? Black. Yeah. Youth Gun Wild T bars and a matte black. Okay, that's not necessary. It is necessary. It's gotta be all black. These are literally the only matte black bars we had. We're out of affinities. I was kind of bummed. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna use is a deck and- Let me guess, if I can remember V3. No, because it's gloss black, Vulcan Oh, deck, wow. Matte black. That's a good one. Is it boxed? Of course it's boxed. Okay, he's taking the whole box. We no, don't... that's too much work. That's... <laughs> <laughs> On a side note, Whoever took the last deck out of here just left the box here. Who do you think did that? If I had to guess, probably Bet though. Low key, yeah, huh? <laughs> That's something Bet though would do. Okay, Walter, where are you going? To the studio, isn't that where we're supposed to go? You're missing a part, man. The grip tape. Are you saving it for when you build it? You think, you know, you're gonna pull something slick, you know? Okay, we'll yeah, see. Definitely. Better be good. All right, guys, made it back to the studio. Walter, I must say your scooter's looking pretty dark, but I do see you're missing a piece. Let's see what you got hiding. All right, all right. I see some cutouts. Okay. Okay. Oh, and you got the fill in. Got the square, dog. All right, nice. Wait, there's more. There's more. If you call right now in the next 10 seconds, we got all the vinyls because you know I gotta go in. <laughs> so I got lots of vinyls. If you don't oh. know what theme this is or what brand this is, this is Off-White. Off-White's <laughs> a very, very big hype beast brand. If you notice on their stuff, James, I don't know if you know anything about no, it. No, I actually don't know anything, but I have seen it. Okay. Like they, I've seen that they do like- The shoelace, if yeah. it says shoelace. It, yeah, I've it, seen it, that. If it's the shoelace, it says shoelace. So I put, I got grip tape on there. So that's pretty cool. And then, you know, their shoes always have one thing on them. They always have a zip tie. So I went ahead and oh, yeah, got the an, orange thing? Oh, an okay. off-white zip tie. I bought this on eBay the day I found out we were filming this. So it was here on time and ready. I can't wait to, you know, toss this bad boy on with these vinyls and uh, show you guys what I got. Okay, so do it. I'll get out of your way. You can always, you never in my way. You guys are wondering probably what all these vinyls are. If you've ever seen their clothes and you know what I'm talking about, their sweaters 
have like stripes along the long sleeve. And that's pretty much what I did there. I made stripes. So first things first is I got to place these decals on the side of this deck. So with vinyls, you got to like take your time when you pull them off because sometimes they still stick to the transfer sticker. Damn, I'm actually really, really excited. If I ever say in my build, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I always know what I'm doing. So I was going to do the stripes all the way throughout here, but I made it this deck vinyl and I'm going to try to put that on here so it'll look pretty sick. And then the other side, I mean, I got lots and lots of lines and like stuff like that and whatnot to make this work. Golden. I think it looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side, but I'm just gonna do stripes all the way down. I'm not gonna go ahead and put like the word deck on here. I will go ahead and see you guys when I'm ready to install this bad boy. See you in about 15 minutes. Alrighty, so I got this side of the deck all done. I mean, it looks pretty good in the comments if you say like the lines are off. Let me see you do this. Got that side looking good. So you know what time it is? It is grip tape time. I cut this out. This is literally cut out. This is flick grip tape cut out. And then look at the back of this one. That is flick grip tape cut out. Time, that's paint because there's no way I'm cutting out those letters. Spacing here to here is even. It's a little crooked, but it's fine. <laughs> I really think this part through. Do we order my trophy yet? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Being 100% honest, I don't care if I win or lose. I've just always wanted to do this. And like, I like to go in on custom builds offs just because like, it's just funner. Win or lose, I don't care. This is gonna be one of my favorite builds I've done. This is looking good. Do you like it? Can't say I know what it is, but I'm sure it's something. <laughs> they're, they're known for their stripes, like their logo basically. Their shoes, the cons, have the stripes on the sides. Oh, that's right, the clear shoes. Yeah, the clear uh, ones go hard. Okay, yeah, I've seen those. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Now, did you use an X-Acto knife to cut this? Yes, I did. This part's kind of like a puzzle. It doesn't always come out 100% exact, but you know what looks good to me? Oh, I did this wrong. Is this the only cut out of grip tape you have? Yeah. My friend. Not a smart choice. It's like a puzzle. Right, I gotta you find see the, the little pieces. nasty parts. Yeah, those gotta go with the other nasty, nasty parts. Part exactly. There. So you got liner in there. Did you just hear my our friend Matisse? Yeah. He just said it sucks that we can't ride right now because they're filming in the studio. Really, Matisse? Does that suck? Really? We're working and you want to ride? That must be nice. Yeah. Sucks to suck, bud. It's a little off centered, looking at it, but you know what? I don't care. It's off. What? Grip tape is done. Now basically it's just installing everything else on here and uh, wow, I think it looks pretty sick for the most part. I love it, got the stripes, deck, stripes, grip tape, come on. One thing about these decks is they are made for 12 standard. This is the normal axle you would use. Clearly I'm not using a 12 standard wheel. You still use these, you still use these, but you have to use these cute little conversion spacers that kind of look like plugs for your ears. Great flashies. It's the most crucial part because if you tap it, the whole thing's coming down, James. I will not do this. I do have the other logos right here. This is clearly not gonna go on the fork. I thought about it, but maybe on the bars if I feel like it, it's up in the air. So I'm gonna install the headset. You guys know the vibes. I'm gonna do this kind of quickly just so I can speed up the process. Perfect. Got the top cap, we got the Root Industry HIC kit. I need to grease this real quick. You guys can stay there. Hey, guess what, I'm back. Two hours later. Whoever's gonna buy this isn't gonna even ride this. This is just like that little, that piece of art you put in the front door when like somebody comes in, like your little scooter homies. You're gonna be like, what, you got that? Like my buddy who bought the Hot Wheel custom build, he doesn't ride it. He has other scooters to ride and that scooter chills because he likes it so much. Sick. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side right now because I got one thing to do really quickly. That just doesn't go. Mm, sick, I wanna make sure the same thread count. Bars are oversized, so you do not need that. Odyssey barns are like the best barns. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these bars on for you guys and then I'm gonna put the cherry on top of this whole build. Wow, y'all ready for this? Ba -na 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 -na. <sighs> taking my 10 after this and taking a nap. Perfect, that's all we need. All right, Walter, your scooter's done. Looks actually amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I would never have thought of a scooter looking like this, and I really like it. Thanks. But, oh. is it dialed? 
Of course it's dialed. Hold the zip tie. That is dialed. That is pretty dialed. Okay, Walter, it's dialed, looks dialed, but there's two other competitors. I know you're sweating and you're scared, but we gotta go switch it up, so let's go see what Sean is gonna build. All right, you guys just saw Walter's build. Sean, I must tell you, it's spectacular. What are you gonna fire back with, bud? Come on. Well. You don't need to use this one. Yeah, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but you totally should. But we do. what color are grapes? Green. Green. Okay, so we're gonna do <laughs> all green build. Reuben deck. Dang, you could have done that. You could have. I'm an idiot. I even no. I looked at the Reuben deck, and unfortunately, y'all copped all the big ones. So we're gonna go purple. We're gonna start out with the headset, so you guys really don't know what's up. Here's a gold till headset. Oh. Okay, you're going gold That's and not purple. purple. What? Like some purple and some gold? What is this guy doing? He's getting nuts out here, man. I think you're doing purple and gold. Hey! Come on, dude. What's this right here? That's a purple honeycomb. Yeah, but I'm not using those. Ooh. I'm using these ones. Radix Ooh, purple. Ooh, those are nice. Wow. I didn't mm. even know we had these. Oh, Owen Wilson, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. These aren't even on the website yet. Maybe by the time you see it. Someone called me like a week ago and was like, yo, I need a, a fork that fits wide wheels. And until the Aztec forks get here, I was like, we don't have any. But now we got some Hang 5 gear forks, so. And they're black, so it's gonna look good. I'm gonna just set these here. We're in the grip section. We're gonna get some, who guessed it? Purple, that's right. I, I'm crazy with the themes, boys. Walter out here not prepared, and somehow he did that build. What'd he do? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I know you guys have seen it, but literally he just went from lying, saying, I don't have any idea, to I know. Austin guessed Toy Story, and I, I say it's Toy Story. They're all saying no, but it's definitely Toy Story. Oh, I need a clamp. And you need a deck. Yeah, don't worry. I got a secret for that. Bars. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry, boys. I, I can never guess what bars he would use. Here, you want to guess? Here, I won't listen. Grape Gang bars. He guessed wrong. I guarantee it. It's the flavor. Aesthetic clamp. And what color are those bolts? Gold. That's a nice touch. Hey, Walter, how you doing? Don't look at me. Hey, don't look at my woody themed custom build here. Hey, Walter, can you guess what color his scooter is? Yeah, I thought very original and... You know, I doubt he would ever use the color purple. Never the color purple, right? No, of course not. He's probably using like green because green grapes are better. Oh, oh! <laughs> you heard it. You heard it from the man. Walter said it. Everything that I could pick from down here, I think is done. Yeah. From down here, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean, Sean? Oh. That's what purple does, babe. Green grapes are better. I actually agree with that. What? Oh, that confirmed. green grapes are better? Yeah. I'm trying to think of the last time I ate purple grapes. Exactly. <laughs> Good thing I'm a grape slushy. I'm not grape vineyard. Oh God. Oh, uh, it's just. All right, bad. here is my secret weapon. Whoever votes for my scooter gets this dog. Anything you want to say to the fans? Give me a bark. Okay. No. Boom. This baby ain't even on the website. We found it in our inventory night, and Brian's doing customer service. So this is a North Atlas. Oh. I think it's the Atrium, let's see. Yeah, Atlas the Atrium. We didn't even have a black one on our site. But look at these deck ends. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah, touch. it's coming together, boys. <laughs> and then also we need some bars, right? There's no way he guessed that we'd be using grape gang bars, right? I guess those. I you guess those? Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Cause we're using Till hybrid bars. Oh, with the sticker job, okay. Out. So the clamp's gonna come up right here. Fully original. All right, well that's all the parts. Let's get down to the studio, put it together. Basil, we'll see you later, dude. All right, Sean, we're in the studio. The parts are laid out, and man, this is my favorite build I've seen from you. I really like this. Yeah, yeah, I agree, it's pretty clean. I mean, it's cleaner than my own personal scooter. I'm not a big fan of the cutout, um, but you know, they showed you the, that trick where you Most can put styrofoam. some- styrofoam? The yeah, little styrofoam yeah. trick, and I was gonna do it for you guys, but now I'm gonna do some custom grip tape for you. And again, if you if you end up not liking it, you just get some styrofoam, put it there, put some grip tape in, and the purples. I mean, you already said it earlier. I mean, we we'll match that. perfect. The purple on the stickers and the purple on the wheels, like you couldn't get a better match. You'll see what I do to go around that cutout. Well, he sounds like you know what you're doing, so I'll get out of your way and good luck. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. I guess I'll go grip tape first, so I'm gonna move these lovely hybrid bars out of the way. Get everything else out of the way. This one's gonna look good. The North Deck, it comes with all the spacers you need to run 30 mil wheels. So we're just gonna pull off the brake right now so I can do my best grip job because if you've been watching for a minute, you know I'm usually the weakest. So I told you already I had a little plan for this and originally I was gonna go straight down the middle and go like hella on each side, but I didn't like that I was gonna end up with an empty strip here. So what we're actually gonna do is cut it so hella's at the top grips at the bottom and it should work out nice, go around the brake bolt and Hella will barely fit right there. So let me grab my cutting board. So we're just gonna go straight in between these two. I think that's pretty well centered right there. Boom. Oof, that grip is not centered. Okay, we're gonna have some fun with that. <laughs> Shoot, we got this boys, we got this. Oh yeah, Get this guy, he'll come in. Oh, look at that. And then we can use that spare right there. It sounded like such a good idea at first. We're gonna cut off a little bit of this so we have some spare ready to go. And we're just gonna start sending it. Limited edition custom grip tape. Oh yeah. So many extra pieces. Ooh, okay. And then it's gonna be really fun filling this end. We're good. Do I look stressed? I'm not stressed, you're stressed. You guys are like so stressed right now. Seamless. And it has been placed. It has been placed, my dudes. Let's see. That's how we do it. I think I'm gonna pull these deck ends out to make sure it stays fully clean. I've never looked at them before. Beautiful. All right, now that we have full clean access to the back end, we're good to get this last little strip of grip tape on and start trimming away the excess fat. Another perfectly lined up section right there. Bringing out the big guns now, we got a real file. Probably really good audio, right? I'm gonna make sure all this grip debris doesn't scratch up the bottom of this deck any more than it already has. Even with all that filing, it's still catching just a little bit. It looks pretty stupid with Hella and Grip and not seeing that cut out. So it's like, why would you do that? And if I didn't have to, I wouldn't do it. But you know, that Formula G, baby. All right, we just finished filing the interior, getting that grip tape as good as we could. You can see all that Hella Grip just coming off in there. I'm gonna dump it into the corner over here, sweep it up later. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'd like to see. And of course I avoided going around the welds, you know. How your boy does it. Your feet don't go up there. Look at the placement of that right there. That is perfect. Okay, Sean, your grip tape's done. You cut up the grip tape in a bunch of different places, but you didn't full deck it. Yeah, I mean, it's a black deck, black yeah. grip tape. So you're saying this is the same color? You can't tell the texture difference? You gotta admit, for having a hole in the center where a grip normally goes, Pretty good. It looks pretty good. Oh, there, oh. Is a, there is a little bit of right there. There's a little. Uh, we can clean that guy up. We can clean that guy up. We'll clean that guy up. <laughs> right here is another piece of grip tape. And there's another piece of grip tape. And there's another piece of grip tape. And this is a different section. Look at those seams, dog. I actually cannot see a seam. Can you guys see that seam? I really can. Oh, I see a seam. Where? Oh, found it. Yep. It was almost seamless. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye, bye, J J James, Jimbo. We're ready for the rest of the scooter. Where's our grease? Grease is ready. Walter left it out here for us. Get our nice layer of grease in there. And of course, the next step is gonna be our headset. Let's go ahead and pop that top guy in, see if it's just a perfect fit. Yeah. So my custom build does have a theme, Thor. Check this out. I'm Thor. I am Thor. Thor smash, right? Nope. Grab our lovely Hang 5 Gear fork. We don't need the crown race from the headset because it has an integrated one. Good job, hang five. Slide our lovely gold top cap over. Grab our flavor SES. Oh my goodness, we need a spacer. Of course we need a spacer. Unfortunately, the uh, fork is gonna stick up just a little bit too much. And uh, we tried to find um, a tall stack that would work, but nothing was gold in stock. So we're just gonna do a little five mil black and it still looks pretty darn clean. 
looking pretty good. And so now we're gonna get on the brake and put back in our lovely deck ends that we got here waiting. A little poke. Go around town. There you go. Just gotta put it in there. It's super easy to put it in there. I think it is backwards. No, it's not. Oh, there's a notch. Oh. Hey, these deck ends aren't reversible anymore. They used to be. That's why you watch custom builds through and through to get all that information. It's solid aluminum. It's gonna take a lot of grinding. You're gonna grind through the bottom of your deck before you 5-0 five, through all these. You'll be good. Like a glove. Woo-wee! Come on, washer. You got it, you're right there. You're right there. You can do it. Boom goes the dynamite. Holy mackerel, this thing is looking good. You can throw some hammers with this. See, it all comes around full circle. Like when he throws his hammer and it comes back. Even the fork can hold your nut too. Scooter technology, bro. Get it tight. One more check on our SES. Oh yeah, that should be dialed. We took all of our bolts out to make sure, you know what, since we did take all of our bolts out, We've now discovered that they aren't greased, so we'll grease those up too once we get the bars in. You guys should know about stretching your clamp by now, but in case you don't, take all the bolts out and lightly stretch it. If you have to cut your bars, let us know before we ship it, and I'll throw in a couple extra stickers so you can get it going. Yeah, a little bit of peeling happening there, but that's okay. Wow, Sean, this thing's looking really good, man. Hey, thank you, the dude. The color scheme is very nice. The accents all match each other. I think you're giving Walter a run for his money with this. It's a nice scooter. If a kid doesn't know what off-white is, per se, you might get their vote, so. That's what I think, I'm saying, too. I think you're doing pretty well. All right, Sean, I think your clamp's pretty tight, man. Let's just see if it's dialed now. I, <sighs> I think you're good. Let's just check it out, come on. Dude, this thing is sick. 575 by 22.5. How do you think you're gonna stack up against your competitors? One second, that's good. Oof, oh, well, you were saying something? Um, you know what, I think what you just portrayed sums it up quite well. I think it's time to go see what Austin's gonna cook up. All right, that was Sean's build. Now, last but not least, we have Austin. Austin, trust me, I've seen both the builds. They're spectacular, are you ready? Are you ready? No. Where should I start? Let's deck this way, boys. Let's go. I've always wanted to do a purple custom build, and I never do purple, so I'm gonna do purple. And Wait, plus, so you're gonna do purple? There's still gonna be like subtle hints on who built each scooter, so my goal is to make a scooter look like Sean's, so then you guys vote for me thinking it's Sean. Yeah, that's the plan. That's not gonna work. Lucky Prospect 2019 deck. It's black, and it's got purple. Right here, baby. Hang five. Gang 5, Wyatt Anderson. Dude, these are purple on neochrome wheels. There's not another wheel on this wall that looks like it, and it's purple. Grape gang, so yeah. Oh God, sorry. Self clamp, let's do that, dude. So unfortunately, there's not a lot of 30 wide forks. If any uh, buddy in the scooter industry is watching this, please, for the love of God, make forks that fit 30 wide wheels, but also come with spacers to fit 24 wide wheels. This is the Hang 5 fork, and the reason that I'm using it isn't because it's Hang 5, Hang 5 tight, this fork looks cool, but it's the only fork other than the Attic Relentless fork that fits 30 wide. The light just went out. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, we're doing it without a light. Hi, Matisse. Hi, buddy. I'm pretty good, dude. Grip tape, let's go get some grip tape, yeah. Oh no. Look at that. Okay, I really like that Teenage a lot. Mutant Ninja Turtles. They got pizza on it too. Dude, it's like my childhood. But this is a build off, you know? You gotta stick to the color scheme. It's per, it's got per, it's got a okay, lot of purple. Okay, it's got a little bit of purple, but it's also got every other well, color. Well, I was gonna either, Jesus, pixel sloth. Hmm, pixel sloth would be good. But cartoons. But color scheme. Dude, think about, Do you wanna win? That, think about 2001, waking up. Okay. Eating some cereal. How about we don't think cartoons. about 2001 and we think about winning this build off? <laughs> For your first time hosting, that was really good. I'm doing this grip tape. Would Sean pick that grip tape though? Cause you are trying to throw off the viewers. Dude. Would Sean pick that? It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Just the one. Ooh, did you get that on camera? That's nothing, baby. Okay. What do I need? Grips. Ethics. Cause they're my favorite grips. Best in the game. We gotta head upstairs to grab my bar and my headset. How's it going, Josh? The last of the Neochrome velocities until we restock. So that's your secret weapon. No, I don't have a secret weapon. What do I look like? Dude, I planned this. I thought you wanted to win. 
It wouldn't be a custom build with Austin if I didn't drop something. Let's grab the last part. Ooh, I don't know who these are, but let's go. I need you guys to be really quiet because there's bars in there and I gotta go get them very quietly so Sean doesn't know. Great game bars. Yeah. Did you see that coming? You see that coming, James? I actually did. Yeah, I know you did. Sean's using purple, isn't he? No. That's a, that's a <laughs> lie. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the studio when I build it up, so. All right, Austin, we're in the studio. Parts are laid out. It's looking beautiful. Like I told you, in the warehouse, grip tape is a little funky, but I'm gonna let you run with it. I'm hype. I know what the other scooters look like. I have no shot, so um, voting is already like done, right? Once this video comes out. I think it's gonna look cool. Ultimately, whether I win or don't win, I'm getting paid to build a scooter, so it's pretty cool, right? So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I'm not cool. gonna lie. I definitely like all the parts. I mean, the purple is pretty cool. I've always wanted to do purple, and Sean actually is the influence on the bar. I was gonna use an Apex bar, but he told me to use that bar, so. Before you drop that comment down below, Sean told me to use the bars. I got some Neochrome, and Neochrome has some green and yellow, and the grip has some green and purple. It's gonna look cool, so. I back it, good luck. I'm gonna leave it to it, and Built this thing good. When um, I picked these wheels, I knew that the urethane was 30 wide and the core was 24 mil. I knew it would work with this deck and the spacers, but I didn't really take into account that the deck isn't really made to fit 30 wide wheels. So what I'm gonna do is just slightly modify it. I'm gonna take this file here. I'm just gonna file down the edges here just a little bit, just so the wheel here has clearance. Just so you guys know, it's not gonna affect the deck. It's just gonna widen it a little bit so the wheel will not rub at all. So let's get to that. I've never really filed things before. Let's go, let's lay it on its side, yeah. Six and a half hours later. All right, with a little bit of strength and a file, the deck is now grinded down just a bit and now I can go ahead and grip the deck. So I gotta pick out a piece of the grip tape that I want to make sure makes it on the deck. Shredder. Up. At the bottom. And it's Donnie who has the purple as well. So like that, right? Yeah. Kapow. Dude, we got pizza. Master Splinter. Dude, this is like hands down like one of the coolest sheets of good tape we've ever had. We actually got Rath's face in there. Yeah, it looks good, like honestly. It was like perfect placement. For some odd reason, there was some like grease or something on the deck and it wasn't allowing the grip tape to properly stick, uh, especially here at the front. So I'm just grabbing this heat gun. If you're at home, you can use like a blow dryer or something. You just want to heat it up, try to get the adhesive nice and sticky again and try not to burn your grip tape or burn your house down. You don't want to do that either, but it will help the grip tape stick to the deck. So that's what I'm doing. Cool, grip tape is done. This is the finished product. I know Walter got off white. But dude, come on, Off-White or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Wow, Austin, your grip tape is looking mighty fine, my dude, friend. Dude, tell me that's not sweet. It is pretty good, I like it. You ain't gotta lie, I have, I have good. Slack messages from, from you saying, you ain't gonna win. James behind the camera said, you ain't got a chance, right when I walked in today. This comes out after the voting, so it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna lose. I'll let you get to that. Wow, it's dude, looking thanks. good. At least you tried your best. Okay, but what if he wins? Yo, he what might... if I do win? Like... Okay, 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 okay. You can win because the scooter's different. You know, you never know what the kids are gonna vote for. If I win, James has to make one of those little collages, like when I won the Scooter Olympics, where it had all of me losing in the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is on. Somebody stole our... Uh, our socket wrenches, so I gotta use lock points. If you're watching this and you stole the socket wrench, bring it back. I think I stole it, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's in my car. Look at that. It's coming together, guys, it's coming together. And there we go. And got my velocity headset, there we go. Just like that. Fork is on with the velocity headset. Looks good. Let's put the front wheel on as well. And the fork has the integrated slot for the nut, so it'll, it'll only take one Allen wrench to tighten it up, which is always nice to have, because you don't always have a socket wrench here, because somebody stole it, AKA me. Shh. All right, that's how we're looking with 
everything so far. The purple is really tying together. Uh, the accents on the deck looks really good with the wheels and stuff like that. Uh, the Neochrome headset was a good choice and the grip tape, man, come on. I got my Ethics self clamp here. Hopefully it'll just go on nice and easy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What do you think? It looks great. Actually, I do like it. The purples go very well with each other. The neochrome goes well with the grip tape with all the colors. When you were building this, I thought it was gonna be very ugly, but it looks really good. So <laughs> let's see, how does she sound? Not good. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, awesome. Uh, we got a problem. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Sometimes when it comes to scootering, things don't work out. When it comes to parts being dialed, it's honestly hit or miss. Most of the scooters we build are, but as you can see, there's another wheel. This back wheel will not dial. I don't know if it's something to do with the deck, but I grabbed two wheels, switch bearings, and it will not stop making noise, so I tried. I wasn't gonna sit here and grab four different pairs of wheels to try to make a dial, but I did try my best. So it looks great, it just it just don't sound great. But remember, a dialed scooter does not make you a better rider. You should hear some people I know scooters. It's not that bad. Well, regardless of the sound, I'm super hyped on the color combo and everything, how it turned out. I think the grip tape was super cool. It's my favorite part. Um, I've wanted to use these wheels, and now that they're finally here at the vault, I could. And uh, I mean, Sean's bar, so supporting a friend is always a good thing to do. All right, Austin, all things aside, the scooter looks very nice, the colors are perfect, but you got two other competitors, so let's go grab them and we'll get everyone's thoughts on this thing, yeah? Yeah. You guys just watched all three custom builds. We have all three contestants here with all three scooters. Walter, what do you think of the competitor scooters? I actually like them. I'm not gonna really say anything negative, but uh, it's pretty nice. I like Sean, yours stands out pretty well. I mean, I like how you both did purple, interesting. Uh, Sean, I wish you would have just full decked up here, but that's just me. Other than that, yours looks pretty good. All right, Austin. Actually, I like the grip tip a lot. As soon as we got that, I was like, dang, this is sick. Wheels look sick. I called it in mine. I was like, somebody's, I said Sean's gonna use these because they're purple and Austin used them. So nice. It looks pretty good. Sean, you were second. What do you think about the competitor scooters? I uh, know Austin and I kind of wanted to confuse you guys. So he used the great bars and a lot of purple on his. The loud grip tape, I was a little nervous. It would uh, kind of throw off the whole build, but with the Neochrome wheels, Wyatt Anderson wheels, and we're using the same fork, Wyatt Anderson fork. So really heavy on the purple and it came out nice. So if you're a park fan, you definitely voted for this guy. If you're street, it was probably hard between Walter and I, and then Walter's all black, off-white build. Uh, I'll bust a Walter and say I'm not gonna say anything negative, but then be like, hey, if it was me, I'd cut straight lines for straight lines, but that's just me. So, I mean, I like how you did this right here, and like the center point, that doesn't matter at all, but this is really clean. It is super clean. Uh, I've never actually seen an off-white tag in person. I'm not really familiar. How much is an off-white tag? on eBay, they're like 10 bucks. All black looks sick, and uh, I know I can clown on the grip tape right here, but where he wrote grip tape is sick, and the side is absolutely phenomenal. So between tricking you guys with double grape action and then the all black off-white, like I think this is one of the best custom build-offs. There's nothing uh, to really say that these two men here didn't already say. Uh, I do think this was the best custom build-off when it comes to uh, creativity. Walter? You're just the best, dude. Off-white, Tyler Chaffin is gonna buy this himself. I, I put it down, dude, he's gonna buy it himself. Tyler, if you're watching this, man, this is your scooter. Sean, color combination, perfect combination. The grips, the wheels, the grape sticker on its own. Awesome, he killed it. And North, given some love there. Did we talk about our scooters? Because nobody really talked about their own scooter. No. You wanna talk about yours? You did. Whack, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> My grip tape has pizza on it, so. Who do you guys think won? I think Walter won. I think Walter won, but I mean, I think the park kids are gonna go for you. And I, you don't think so? No, every, you, every if park kid is gonna go for us. Is a hype beast He's, also? Yeah. So you're saying Walter first, who's second? You. Dang, I think Walter won, yeah. I'm gonna say it's the same thing. Walter, me, you. It's between Austin and I with first. I really don't know. But as far as third, Sean, I, I feel like Austin's is just more to appealing to the eye. Well, those were the predictions. You guys heard it. Now, let's get on to the actual results. Several days later. Austin, awesome. it's all Built. It says, it says Walter's name, though. 
Yeah, uh, Webby couldn't come in today, so can you present the award to the actual winner? Is that a, is that a joke? <laughs> Ow! Listen, you got 7% of the vote. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Let's go! What percentage did Walter get? 68%. Walter Perez! Hey! Hey, dude, what's, what's go! This? You won! Barely! I had no idea I was gonna win. Barely won, dude. Like, you didn't have over 65% of the votes or anything. Wow. This is a cute little trophy. Yo, not gonna lie, out of all the other custom build trophies, like, this is one of the coolest ones. I this mean, is definitely the coolest one. So. It's not like you have a collection or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. Have fun. Thank you guys so much for voting, I guess, for my scooter. I would say for me, but you voted for my scooter that I built. So that's the best thing I could say, right? Sound good to me? Sounds good to me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like our, the new format we did where you vote for the scooter and not the person, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you like, subscribe, follow us all on our social medias. And I guess that's it. Bye.